I'm not going to sit here and lie and tell you that I expected Lamar Jackson to be number one on the top 100 list. I kind of expected him to be number two, mainly because I thought people would give Patrick Mahomes more of the benefit of the doubt because he just won a Super Bowl and a Super Bowl MVP. I thought that was going to put him at number one, and to my surprise, it didn't. And Patrick Mahomes didn't even crack the top three. He was number four. And then Aaron Donald was ahead of him at number three. He was the number one player last year, and I'm not surprised that he's in the top three. And then Russell Wilson was number two, and this is no shot at Wilson, but the highest I would have rated him was probably five, four or five. But he got number two, and then Lamar Jackson comes in at number one. But the thing that what I like about the top 100 list is people freak out because they're like, oh, the NFL got it wrong, this, that, and the other. And I'm like, you do know the, the players actually vote for the top 100 list. You know, you, you complain about people who make lists that don't play football, have never been athletic a day in their life making these lists. These guys are doing this for a living. They used to, they're either retired players or they're current players in the league making this list. So the fact that they recognize Lamar Jackson as the number one player in the league kind of makes me happy. I mean, he did have 4,300 total yards last year, over 40 total touchdowns, and won MVP unanimously, but I thought people would, like I said, give credit over Mahomes and then Jackson because Mahomes just won the Super Bowl this year, whereas Jackson, while his team was on path for the Super Bowl, choked in the playoffs again. But, you know, once again, sometimes it takes a couple of years to really get it going, and, you know, maybe Lamar Jackson getting all these accolades now, he's just like, yeah, I got all these accolades, but I'm more poised on the Super Bowl at this point, and I love that intent. You know that intensity. He could be like, "Yeah, I got all these other awards. I'm, I'm, I'm done, and all this kind of stuff." No, he legitimately wants a Super Bowl, and that's what makes me think that he's going to get one or two in his career, maybe three or four. I don't know how he can get, but I just have that feeling that if not this year, then next year will be Lamar Jackson's time to shine in the Super Bowl. He's just so poised at getting there, and as long as we keep putting the talent around him boy, we can be a, a dynasty for the next 10, 15 years or so. That's where we're basically headed at because we're so good at drafting. And when we do bring in free agents, it's always key positions that we need. And as long as we're able to keep Lamar healthy, keep Lamar happy, and he stays for a while, things could be really good in Baltimore for years. So yeah, I am surprised that he made number one, like I said, I knew he was probably going to make the top five, but I thought no higher than two and no lower than five, but I was surprised. I mean, then you, then like I said, then you realize the players voted and you're like, you know, I can see the players, especially the players that played against him, voting him number one because, I mean, did you see what he did to defenders last year, passing and running the ball? And those defenders that probably saw that were like, oh, number one, because... You know, when you're expecting him to take off and run, he just throws this bomb down the field for a touchdown. Or when you see when you see him wanting to throw the ball, but there's a wide open hole and you have to tackle him, he's more than likely going to juke you out and break your ankles. So, yeah, it, it's cool that he got it. I'm happy, but like I said, at the same point in time, I'm thinking I'm on the same boat where Lamar Jackson is, where I just want a Super Bowl. I can care less about anybody else putting anybody on a top 10 list, on a top 100 list. I just care if my team makes the playoffs, wins the Super Bowl. They don't necessarily have to win the division. They just need to get in the position to win a Super Bowl. And if they do that, well, then I'm happy. And I've been alive to see both of my team's Super Bowls. Granted, I was two when we won the first one. But luckily, that second one, I was a freshman in high school. So I remember that one a little bit better. And I just think that if not this year, next year is the year that we do it. We already broke out with a 14-2 and two season. So we know we're going to be fine. We know we're going to be okay. But... It, it is going to um, going to be an interesting next couple of years in Baltimore, but that's mainly about it. You guys can tell me in the comments below what do you think. Should Lamar Jackson be number one? If not, who should have been? And where would you put Lamar Jackson in the top 100? But that just uh, that does it for me. Hope you're staying safe out there. And until then, I will catch you all in the next one.